Welcome back to Restore Thrive. This is what we call the side hip smash with a lacrosse ball. Now we have a little bigger diameter ball here to really work into the soft tissue on the outside of the high hip. If you've had any sort of hip, low back, or even knee related discomfort or pain, this is a great area to explore and find limitations in because it can make a huge difference in your ability to stabilize your hip, your pelvis, and your knee. So what we'll do is pop on down to the floor here, on our side, we're gonna start on our back so we can position that ball, again, on the outside high part of the hip. I don't wanna be right on that hard bone on the outside of the hip, that greater trochanter. I'm in that soft tissue above. And then what I'm gonna do is slowly add some weight. First with one leg, then I'll bring my other leg over. If I'm still breathing, I can bring my upper body down onto my side and that's a lot of pressure on an area that doesn't get a lot of work. So what I can do from here is simply what we call smear that ball forward and backwards. What I'm doing is I'm using my top hand and I'm sliding my hips forward and backward over the ball, trying to make sure that I'm controlling my breathing, still inhaling and exhaling normally until that starts to loosen up. So that direction of mobilization is back to front, back to front, and I can move that down my hip as long as I'm finding spots that are tight. One thing to remember here is that your sciatic nerve runs through this area as well. So we always wanna feel pressure where the ball is. We should never feel any sort of pain or discomfort running down our legs because then we know you're pressing on that nerve. If you wanna know more about how to deal with hip, knee, or low back related issues, you can find us on our website at restorethrive.com.